After purchasing Riviera, I was so pleasantly surprised I had to go back and purchase Regatta. Is it just as good? After I reviewed Riviera, a lot of you guys agreed with me that this is a really good hidden gem and it's popping up at Ross and some of you got the one I missed or left behind, Regatta. Some of you guys let me know that you purchased this and this fragrance for $90 a piece and at Ross it's such a low price so it's worth purchasing. I had to go back and luckily I found it. In the comments, Florida Sam mentioned to me that Regatta is reminiscent of the original CK1 formulation. So I was a bit intrigued. I wanted to see if it was what I remember CK1 being. From the House of Fasona Blow, this is also a 2021 release, Regatta. And the presentation and batch code, forget those. We don't need that. Let's get to the smell. Ooh, that opening is very reminiscent of what I remember CK1 to be. Very refreshing with that citrus combination, bergamot and lemon. Adding a little ginger to give it a little zing, it's a very nice opening. Very citrusy, floral, aquatic, all in the opening. If you're a fan of the original CK1, then this is definitely for you. You're going to enjoy this. The C notes neroli and cardamom develop in the mid to give it a nice salty aquatic yet sweet floral sensation. In the base, sandalwood, cedar, oak moss develop and make it a woody, creamy, powdery fragrance. Let's compare it to the current formulation of CK1. Unfortunately, the current formulation of CK1 seems a bit watered down compared to how I remember it. On my right hand, Regatta brings me back to that nostalgic first smell of CK1 when I used to wear the original formulation. In other words, if you're a fan of CK1, you're going to be a fan of Regatta. While the opening of Regatta reminds me of the original CK1 formulation, I think in the mid, it reminds me more of Zara Chrome's Sport because they both share that bergamot, citrusy, lemon combination. But in the mid, there's more of that ginger watery notes that I get from Mazzaro Chrome. From the mid to the base, Regatta reminds me also of Nautica Voyage N83 edition. This flanker has sea notes and cardamom that give it that salty sweet sensation. Regatta and N83 do have similarities in the base with the musk, sandalwood, and cedar. If you love any of these fragrances that I mentioned, this might be right up your alley. If you're running low on CK1, Azaro Chrome Sport, or your Nautica Voyage N83, this might be a great replacement for it. It's affordable. It does seem like it's better quality than the CK1 so far. This is a very versatile fragrance. Riviera was more evenings and going out. This one is more casual, daytime, but you could honestly wear this year round. It's very fresh, very aquatic, very uplifting, very casual situations after a shower gives you a clean nice feeling this one will definitely shine in the spring summer days when it's warm outside anyone could wear this any ages this could be even unisex much like ck1 was this is an edt concentration it does say intense duration so far it's okay four to six hours. The first hour, it does project more. And then the second hour, it tames down. By the third or fourth hour, it does become more of a skin scent. But you can still smell it. It does not burn out quickly. It does have some lasting power. Do me a favor, like this video, and don't forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos.
If you're looking for a great aquatic, fresh, citrusy fragrance under $25, be on the lookout at your local Ross. Or maybe these will pop up on fragrance discounter websites as well. Let me know more of your experiences with Fasanablo, Regatta, or Riviera. They're both great pickups in my opinion. Thanks again for joining me. Until next time, enjoy your fragrances.